Good morning, Floss Tube. Some of y'all had asked for a video of the babies. Today is January 23rd, Thursday, and they were a month, no, four weeks old yesterday on Wednesday, and I graduated them to the playpen this morning. So they're all a mucking about. They've already made a mess. But that's what kittens do. That's why they go to the playpen to learn to make their messes there before I let them out in the kitten room. They're doing great. Beauty's a little bewildered with them wandering about in there. She can jump out easily and wander about the room and get away from them if she wants to. There's my cutie's butt. And there is Lottie. Lottie and Cutie will probably be coming out into the house this weekend. Cutie is six months old and Lottie will be five months old on February 1st. So they're plenty old enough. I've just kept them in here to eat kitten food and give them extra protein as they're growing. I have a hard time feeding kitten food out in the rest of the house because the older cats don't need the higher protein load. Um, so I didn't have many other babies in here, so I just kept them in here. Both of these girls are staying with me. Both of their mamas have been spayed. Cutie, what are you doing, cutie? Oh, she's found a bell off something. I guess I'm gonna need to go pick that up so nobody swallows it. Cutie. Here's Fairy Tail, Fairy, and she, actually Bumblebee Once Upon a Time is her registered name. She's a grand champion. She Her next litter is due in about two weeks, but I put her in the playpen or in the crate a little early because she was not gaining as much weight as I wanted her to. So she's in here so I can make sure she gets lots of food. She's a little retiring with the other cats and she won't compete for food. So she's in here basically for me to fatten her up. And my other crate over there got a good terminal scrub down this morning. I'll let it air out for 24 hours. And then Story, who is due sometime the first week of February, will probably move in here tomorrow or this weekend. Um, the big box is a new scratcher that I haven't taken out of the box. Everybody's fascinated with it. But that's what's going on in the kitten room. All the kitties are doing great. Why, of all the places in the world, when you have a nice quilt over here, do you want to lay over there by the nasty litter box? I know, because that's what kittens do, because y'all are little messes. Yes, you are, you little messes. They're such little stinkers. They're so dang cute. Oh, somebody exploring the potty box. So right now they really just crawl in and play. They haven't really mastered the peeing and pooing in the box. They are eating probably 50% solid food. They do eat um, mostly wet food. Um, I went and got baby cat yesterday to try to get them interested in some dry food. Um, they are pooping solid poop though, which means mama has lost interest in cleaning their little tushies. So I'm hoping they figure out the potty box pretty quick. And generally they do. Um, most of my babies don't start eating solid food until they're around four weeks old or older. But these guys decided about a week ago that they were just gonna eat. They just ran up and started in on mama's food. So their pottying behaviors are a little behind their eating behaviors, but they'll figure it out. <sighs> I need to mop up the floor of the playpen again already. Y'all are such messes. We haven't been in there an hour yet. Anyway, there's a look at the kitten room. Cutie's still over there being fascinated with wherever she's rolled that jingle bell to. I guess I'll go dig everything out and get it so nobody chokes on it. Say bye, fairy. Bye, you guys. Have a blessed day.